So many folks have asked on our feedback site for this, and at last we have built it for you. It is conditional forms. So you'll start by creating forms under workspace settings and then here under form builder. So you start by clicking this plus button. You can either create a brand new form or you can start from a template. So you can, the way this template library works is you can kind of search through each of these types and see each of the forms that are available here. And then when you click import, it's going to add here in, uh, in its folder in your actual account, then you can click on it and edit it. Um, I am gonna show you a conditional form that was built and then we'll take a look at how it works. So um, each of these elements over here, um, all through form inputs and content, those you can use conditional logic uh, and apply it to any of those pieces. You're gonna to wanna to apply it to the question that you're trying to decide, okay, I've asked this question, now I only want this question, to this next question to show if these answers were made right? Confusing. Okay. I'm going to show it to you. So, um, I have used this, uh, select box right here. So that is this question right here. It's a select box where you can choose multiple, you can choose one answer from a drop down. Um, we're going to talk about pizza. The important thing here is you want to add a mapping key, something that is clear, um, so that you can remember what it is. So then I'm going to add in a question based on the answer to what is the best pizza. So here I've got, um, my question, and then I'm going to click on conditional logic to turn on my conditional logic. So I've got a toggle here to turn it on. Um, you have an and or an or indicator. So in this case, I want to do or if any of these conditions are true, and then you'll add your conditions here by clicking on edit. And so here under field name, this is going to show you everything prior that you can base this question off of um, in your conditional form. So I just have the one question before, so I only have one option here. You have lots of different operations, um, whether something's answered or not answered, um, is or isn't. So because I've used my drop down, I have my is operation. And then you can see I've actually got my answers that I wrote here as well. So I can choose those. Um, and I have two of these. But if any of these conditions are true, someone has answered cheese or pepperoni, I wanna show this question. However, for this next question, I only want this one to choose. So I can either choose and or, or in this case, but um, same thing, I'll choose my field, but you can see now I've got a second option here because everything before this is, uh, you have an option to add conditional formatting for anything, any question that's before this question in your form. Um, you can also add conditional formatting to another question type. So in this case, I've pulled in a multiple choice question here, um, and I've just turned on my conditional logic. So you're going to get this question if you answer my initial question. Um, so if you answer my best field and it is this answer, you're going to get another question. And then based out of that question, I have another set of conditional logic. So the way this looks right now is I have, you're going to choose the best type of pizza. If you choose cheese or pepperoni, you're going to get this question. If you choose my personal favorite pizza, I'm going to flatter you. And if you choose that you don't like pizza, you're probably my granny because she's the only person I know that doesn't like pizza. So um, I'm going to ask this question. Um, I just have one setting. So again, you can use and or, or in that case, um, I'm going to pull in another question with conditional logic here, or in this case, I've added some text. So I pulled in a text box, turned on conditional logic, and I'm going to show this text if um, these conditions are true based on my, are you my granny question. So here is all of that. Um, I'll show you again here. Now I've got lots of questions and fields. So you'll get all of the fields in this drop down to choose from uh, that are before this question in your form. One thing to note if you are going to use the checkbox with multiple options, now you have quite a few more things that there are new conditions, right? So um, in this case, I'm going to use this conditional logic on a text box and I've turned on the and conditional logic. So I'm going to show you're brilliant if 
you uh, have looked at this field that I mapped and you have chosen these two answers, but you didn't choose this answer because ricotta is delicious on pizza. So you can kind of mix and match your operations here. And in that case, you're gonna either choose, I want all of these things to be true, or I just want um, one of these things to be true. Okay, so this is again, when you use your uh, check boxes where someone can choose more than one answer, you'll want to use this operation. The is and isn't will not work here. So you wanna make sure you're either either using the contains or doesn't contain option. Um, I've done the same thing with a picture here, but in this case, I'm just doing an or. You're gonna get this blech picture if you choose any of my things incorrectly, in my opinion, because I have strong feelings about pizza. So uh, again, I've mixed my operations here. I've used con doesn't contain and contains and added my answers. And I'm, if you choose any of those things, you're gonna end up with this picture. There's only one right answer, in my opinion here. So um, let's take a look at how this form is gonna work. And um, this is how you can test your form too. So we'll do a share. We'll get a direct link to the form, uh, copy that and uh, paste it in so that you can see what the form looks like. Okay, so um, your forms are gonna be saved. So if you do have a long form, then uh, don't worry, it'll be attached to um, a cookie. And unless the person filling out the form goes and clears out all of their information or does it in incognito, they'll be able to save their information. So depending on what I choose here, so if I choose cheese, if I choose pepperoni, I'm going to get this question. If I choose my favorite pizza, I have this question. Or if I choose black pizza um, and you're not my granny, I'll probably be judging you. But if you are my granny, you'll get this question. And again, you can kind of go through and pick these. So um, this is that checkbox that I was showing you that is a little bit more complex. So this is the right quote unquote answer that I have chosen here. I want these two to be checked and this one not to be checked. So in this case, if I go and check this, now I'm gonna get my image. Or if I uncheck either of these, I'm gonna get those. So that's a bit how um, those pieces can work um, all together using text or images and also all three types, um, a checkbox, a multiple choice question and a drop down. So that's conditional forms and we're super excited for you to use it and make all your forms glorious.